up, beautiful people? Losing Drea here. I know. Once again, took forever for me to get back on here and do a video for you guys. But I got to tell you guys, I filmed quite a few videos. I just never get them uploaded. And then it's like too late to kind of put it out there because it's old news already. At least to me it is. And well, let me first start out by saying besides the whole what's up part. Hi, everybody. And Hello to my new subscribers as well as my old subscribers. I love each and every one of you and I appreciate you guys so, so very much for subscribing to my channel. Just the other day, I got an email from YouTube congratulating me on a milestone. A thousand subscribers. Who would have thought? I still don't believe it. Um... I don't know, some come, some go, so maybe I have it, maybe I don't. I didn't even think to check before doing this video, but in any case, I never had seen that email before, and so it really made me feel good for the first time in a long time since the whole uh, adpocalypse email that I got way back when, when they said um, if you didn't have at least a 1,000 subscribers and or X amount of views, I forget how much it was, um, you are going to no longer be able to monetize your videos. And I never really cared to monetize my videos before anyways. But just getting that email, for those of you who didn't see that video from me that I put out where I was ranting about it, it kind of like put a damper on my feelings. It made me feel bad. Like, I'm not good enough. And I don't know about you guys, but when somebody makes you feel not good enough, then you feel like you're not good enough. And um, as unimportant sometimes that I think some of the information that I'm putting out there is for even me, like I don't think that it matters, that you guys won't think it matters to see some sort of a email that's sort of um, pinpointing my flaw really was disheartening. And it made me really... Um, Kind of think about, you know, whenever I come on here and do a video, like, do I really want to do this? Is this really what I want to do? And it is really what I want to do. I mean, for me in the beginning, when I first started my weight loss journey, like way back in 2011, it was all I wanted to do. It was something I needed to do for me. I needed to come on here and see um, the changes, you know, because they were subtle. They were subtle changes, but they were changes nonetheless. And it's something that, you know, you see yourself every day in the mirror and you don't see these changes. And I can go back today, six plus years later, and I can see these changes. You know, I can see the difference in my face and I can see the difference in how many chins I now have compared to as many chins as I had then. And I think I had more chins than a Chinese phone book. Really. But anyways... Look, I love you guys. I love YouTube. I love being a YouTuber. I love creating content for you guys. I just never really know what to put out there. And there's not a lot of you that chime in and comment down below and let me know what you think and what you'd like to see from me. And so it makes it really hard for me as a creator who actually has a real life job and does other things. You know, um, my life is full and basically I'm quite busy and there's so many things that I like to come on here and do, but I just get caught up in the moment and it's never the right time, if that makes any sense to any of you guys. So I don't live alone. I, I have situations going on around me that don't always give me the ability that I would like to have when I would like to have it so that I could come on here and give you guys content. Like as far as cooking videos and whatnot, there's always somebody or something that is creating some sort of a disruption that makes certain things in my video stand out that I know in the past I've had people complain about. And so when that happens, it makes me feel uneasy and not really want to put that content out when those things are, you know, creating that disruption around me. And they are going to create that disruption around me because it's just going to put it out there and that one person is going to give me a dislike or something and say, hey, I didn't like it. And I know you can't please everybody all of the time. However, uh, I do try to do my very best, and I like to make changes where I see change is needed, but I can't quite do that if it's not things that are 100% completely under my control where I can make those changes. Sorry if I'm looking away. My phone keeps coming alive on the side here, in my, uh, and I'm waiting for somebody very important um, that you know I don't want to miss their text. But I did want to come on here nonetheless and uh, just let you kind of know where I'm at, what, what I'm doing, uh, what I've been doing. And uh, right now, basically, I'm not doing keto. I have been in full 
blown, eat whatever the heck I want mode, but it's working for me. Okay, go figure. Uh, I'm, I'm actually eating sugar instead of stevia because I got me a Keurig finally and basically I can't find coffee that tastes good with stevia in it. It's like I can put the stevia in it if I want, but I haven't found a blend yet that I'm quite too you know, comfortable drinking and I'm not like really enjoying that isn't too bitter or it's not really that it's bitter, but it's really, really super strong unless I put a heck of a lot of heavy whipping cream in there. And then of course, some sort of uh, sugar to sort of break down the robustness of it, if that makes any sense. And so I've been having sugar and, um, but yet I'm kind of eating things that are keto regardless, you know, I'm still eating the meat and the butter and, and having those kind of things. And I'm not really going outside of that, but I have been having some ice cream. I ate a couple of Klondikes. I ate one tonight, I ate one last night. Uh, I've been buying some stuff here and there that wouldn't necessarily be keto, but, um, yeah, uh, having some medical issues and I gone, have gone to the doctor and I got some tests done, but I have to wait before I can get the results of those tests to come back. And therefore, I really don't know where I'm at, but I'm just trying to enjoy myself because, I don't know, I get this feeling like something's going to come down, like the hammer, you know, the the old ratchet, hatchet, what have you. And, um, and I'm going to find out some interesting news that I'm not really prepared to hear. And um, it all boils down to a test that I had done and how that test went about and, and what transpired the day uh, that test took place and uh, a couple of things and it really had me upset just the way it went down and so without like going into a story time and giving you guys all the basic details just know that I'm a very strong person and I was shook I was really shook after that test and uh, it basically has me believing something that might not be true I hope and pray that it's not true but the fact that it could be possible um, or at least there's something going on that they couldn't tell me because, you know, those types of people who do those types of tests, you know, they wait for the stuff to go back to your doctor and let your doctor discuss it with you. Um, but obviously something had transpired the day that I had that particular test done. I had three tests done in the same day and all went well except for that last one. And uh, it just shook me, shook me to my core, uh, like I said, the way things went down. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say because I'm an emotional eater that I'm taking out my fears and my emotions and what might be down the road um, on food, but I am eating whatever I want and uh, I'm just enjoying it. And it happens to be working for me on the scale, even though I'm not like really caring right now about the scale. So that's where I'm at today. So if anybody's wondering, you know, why you haven't seen any videos or basically any content, really that's why, because I don't want to come on here and like one day I'm on keto and one day I'm not, and one day I'm doing this and one day I'm not, and one day I've lost weight and one day I gained weight, you know, because if you guys have joined my channel because I'm on a weight loss journey and you want to help support me because you know that no matter what I'm on or what I'm doing, I will be supporting you. Um... You know, I just don't want to be coming on here and giving like negative ideas and mixed, uh, you know, ideas about what's going on because, you know, I don't want to say that, that this is bad or that's bad. I mean, uh, I feel my best when I'm eating completely clean keto, but I'm basically doing lazy keto and, uh, and I'm throwing in a few cheat things, if that makes any sense. And so, yeah, that's where I'm at. And, um... I don't know, I've been playing around lately with a little bit of makeup and some ideas. Uh, not really, I have a little, like, piercing thing in my nose and another one here on my lip. And, um, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my funky hair, my titanium dipped ponytail. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'm going through some changes in life, who knows. But anyways, I'm happy to be here nonetheless, and I'm happy if all of you guys are here. If you're watching this, then you're obviously here. And with that said, I love you guys so, so very much. If you have any comments, questions, ideas, things you want to see from me, doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a recipe video or something, just leave the ideas down below. If that is uh, something that you don't want to do, but you still want to get in touch with me, there's a way you can go to my About page and then click on, I forget what it is, and there's a way you can send me a private inbox message. I don't always get that as quickly as I will if you leave me a comment down below though. I would like to know what your thoughts are and ideas and if there is anything 
that I can uh, bring to you in the way of content, then I am definitely more than happy to try to accommodate because it's my way of giving back to you guys uh, for the love and appreciation that uh, you guys have shown me. And especially if I do have a thousand subscribers, wow guys, thank you so very much for helping me get there. If it was not for any of you guys, I wouldn't be there because you are the subscribers that supposedly I now have. So with that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you, be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey, and I most definitely will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love each and every one of you. Be blessed. Mwah.